so yeah, thank you everybody for joining. I appreciate you uh, spending some time here on a Thursday afternoon. These are often scheduled for an hour. I promise to try to keep you only 30 to 40 minutes. Um, what I wanna do today uh, is talk just a little bit about, uh, first of all, what uh, process automation is, who Teco Systems, my company is, who Creatio, we'll do some really quick intro. The meeting today is gonna concentrate on process automation in CRM for Cloud Suite distribution. We've been thinking of fun topics for CRM with, with Shane and the folks at Central Data. And I think this is one that we hear from a lot of distributors that we work with is redundancy of data or dirty data or manual entry. You know, there's a lot of different reasons why sometimes CRMs can, can be cumbersome or don't get adopted. And having process automation, we're gonna talk about some of those key benefits. We'll talk about some best practices. So. Uh, working with some of you folks, we'll talk about some of the tips and tricks uh, if you guys are going to start implementing and thinking about automating some business processes. So we're not going to get too deep into the weeds in an actual CRM demo today, uh, but we're going to be talking about some of the automation uh, that a well-implemented CRM uh, will afford you folks. So to kick off, I just want to say hi and introduce myself for you folks that don't know who Teco Systems is. Uh, we've been a long-term partner with Central Data. Uh, we know their team and are very, very friendly uh, as their go-to CRM partner for quite some time. Uh, but we are an implementation partner of a product called Creatio. So you'll see the Creatio logo. I'm gonna be showing some Creatio software in a little bit much like central data is to Infor for you folks, uh, Teco Systems is an implementation partner of the product Creatio. Um, and so we've been doing CRM implementations for about 25 years now. Uh, we concentrate specifically on complex integrations, uh, which we'll be calling out today in, uh, in the Cloud Suite distribution integration. Um, but our goal is to make sure that you folks uh, have a successful CRM implementation. And uh, about half of my team uh, has worked at Infor or has been part of the Infor ecosystems. I myself was a, an Infor rep for about six years selling into the distribution space. Um, so I understand CSD uh, or on-prem SX, if that's the route you are, or fax, uh, depending on the audience who's listening to this. Uh, we understand those ERPs very well uh, and have great integrations into those. Um, so that's quickly who we are and, and why we're here. A quick introduction into Creatio, the product. Uh, the one slide is, you know, CRMs that are out there in a lot of different versions. There are competitors and are alternatives. And I think why Shane and, and Daryl and the team at Central Data uh, come to us and, and look at us is uh, for these three things. Uh, one is Creatio touts a no-code platform. They quite literally here in my desk uh, have the book they wrote called the no-code playbook um, and it's about ease of configuration so every business is different you could be building materials distributor electrical equipment distributor you could be an oil and gas fuel distributor um, your needs are similar but different and so to configure the system is very very easy um, and then we write these business processes so that is the guts of our time here today we are going to be talking about the middle leg of the stool, which is if then statements. If a lead comes in and it's created for uh, Scott, then it needs to be routed, uh, excuse me, sorry. If the lead comes in and it's in Arizona, it should be created for me. If a lead comes in and it's in Michigan, that gets assigned to Shane. If a quote comes in from CSD and it hasn't been followed up on in seven days, Julie needs to get an alert. We're gonna talk about some of those fun ones, but all of that if then type processes, we write using no code to help streamline your business. So this is the guts of what we're gonna be talking about. But the last leg that makes Creatio really good is this they call a unified CRM. And all that means is simply um, sales, service, marketing, credit and collections, finance, management, all of these people are talking to the same customer, right? 
let's have that data, those communications, those phone calls in one record so I can see when was the last time that my inside rep spoke with this account. And we'll talk about it when I get into software in a little bit. But your entire organization, whether I'm on one of these things, you know, mobile or I'm sitting at a desk, have the ability to bring your inter-office communications together. So let's pivot for a minute and let's talk about some of the benefits of automation, right? So one of the first things is efficiency. So think of creating follow-up tasks, updating data, creating tasks. One of the biggest heartburns we hear is salespeople sometimes, CRM is a four-letter word, not a three-letter acronym, right? I don't want to get in and update data. I want the system to do it for me. So Crescio or CRM has the ability to auto create tasks and move data through that customer journey to remove perhaps some of that redundant data entry. Think of a lead. I go in and I go to a trade show and I bring in a hundred leads from that trade show. Well, those are imported in, so they're automatically created. And then I speak with Bob Smith and Bob says, I'm interested in talking to you well, I wanna create an opportunity or a quote. In CRM, I just click one button and it will create an account, a contact and an opportunity for me. And all that data and notes from the lead get transferred over to the account contact and opportunity. So I'm not having to redundantly recreate that data, right? I fill it in once and I just do my job and the CRM will move that data through and it, leads into accuracy. If we're automating moving of data, then we don't have the chance for errors, right? Think of phone numbers, emails, order numbers, right? If I generate a quote in CRM and it's for Alpha Business and I put products on there, discounts in it, and I click one button and I wanna create an, an order in ERP, I don't have to create that order in ERP and maybe I select the wrong product or the wrong quantity. I'm automating that through a business process and all the data moves correctly. So we sort of remove the need for you know, checking on data. It improves the accuracy of that data because the system's just moving it through. One of the nice things we've heard is personalized customer experience. And think of sending automated messages as part of a business process, right? Improving the customer experience by when a lead comes in, right? Somebody goes to your website and they fill out a form and, you know, contact me, request more info, whatever that might be. How often in our personal life do we do that? And we hear crickets, right? Okay, did they get it? Are they ever gonna call me? I have no idea. Well, in CRM, I can say, okay, when that lead is ingested, they fill out the form, we bring that lead in automatically, I wanna automatically create an email to them and say, thank you, we've received your response. And then we can macro in because of those routing rules I said earlier. If the lead is in Phoenix, come to me. If that lead is in um, Detroit, it goes to Shane. In that auto email, before the email gets sent, I can read that it's Scott. So then I can send the email to that person from me. So that email, the customer fills out a form, they'll get a tailored message from Scott that says, you know, dear Bob Smith, I'm excited to chat with you. I promise to be in touch with you within 24 hours, whatever you want that message to be. Then we can automatically create a task internally for me, the sales rep to say, hey, you got a new lead, call him. So part of that process automation, that business rule will be, send an email to the end customer from me, so it looks like it came from me, but also create me as the user a task to call that person, right? And send me an email if you want, right? So, and then three days later, if I haven't done anything with that lead, create me another task, right? Saying, hey, Scott, you still have not yet called that lead. Here's another reminder, here's an email, so we can improve that customer experience by sending tailored messages the lead was just an example when a new order comes in from CSD and we want to send a, an email congratulating either the internal team or the customer so we can do you know, some of those automated emails and alerts to improve customer experience. 
And then with automation, I hope you guys can make better decisions, either as an end user or as a manager, right? So we're automating report generation. We're giving you guys insights from both CRM, like task management emails, but also that CSD data or SX data or fax data, whatever that's coming in, we can write business rules saying, if that order comes in, I wanna put it on the dashboard and then send an email you know, to the manager that there's a new order for $100,000. I want you know, the team to know about that. So you guys can hopefully be more efficient, a little more accurate, give you better customer experience and make better decisions by automating these business processes. So I'll send this report to everybody that wants it. These were some statistics as I was looking into, you know, why does business process management or BPA business process automation, what does it matter? What do we, why are we, why do we want to implement it? You know, there's some stats I was able to find by doing some, some searching that just talks about implementing a CRM can improve customer conversion or increasing revenue by implementing a CRM because people are able to get their goals from their mobile device or sitting at a desk. Of course, having those personalized messages here are gonna increase customer satisfaction, which drives loyalty. And of course, what good software purchase wouldn't talk about your ROI. Um, so implementing CRMs are driving all of these things, which hopefully then give you guys a, an ROI or return on your investment. So I teased these in the previous slide or two slides ago. I want to talk about what we hear from folks like you. you know, we have a bunch of distributors in different, in, you know, different micro verticals, you know, that are using this. And as we're implementing with them or doing enhancements with them, you know, we talked about this lead creation. So if you go to a trade show, we can bring in those hundred leads of people that scan the badge and on import, we can write processes to auto route based on industry, based on state, based on their category. So we can write ownership rules, but on import, we can create those tasks, do the auto emails. So I kind of called on this a little bit ago, but this is a really big one for distributors that we work with is having the automation of when a lead is created or more relevant might be when that lead gets converted to an opportunity. So I'm gonna tease in a few moments and I'm gonna actually show some software, but we have leads and opportunities. So when that lead gets converted to an opportunity, I talked about it, all the data moves, the account is created automatically, the contact is created automatically, and then maybe it moves to a certain stage in the funnel and I wanna create a quote. And so all I do is click one button on that opportunity stage saying it's ready for quote, and then Creatio can write an entire Word document printable for that quote. And it will read that is for Alpha Business, here are the products, here's the discount, here's the quantity, and it will build a pretty quote template for you folks that you could then auto send out or manually send out to your customers. And then write a business process that if that quote isn't followed up on in seven days, to then create a task, you know, okay, I created, called this guy, or excuse me, I sent this guy a quote seven days ago, haven't heard from him, create a task for me to follow up with, yeah. Or quote to order, right? With our bi-directional integration into CSD or SX, we have some customers, I'm not coming in here by any stretch on a recorded webinar saying that you guys need to do quoting in CRM. If you have a CSD or SX, if you guys have some complex quoting built in there, by all means, please continue to use CSD. We're ingesting that quote in Creatio, no problem. So in you know, build a quote in CSD in our real-time sync, we'll grab that, off you go. But some of our customers want a quote in CRM and there's reasons to and not to do that. So we have a op, lead to op, op to quote, quote is in CRM, and then we push that over to CSD as like a pending order in the OE table. So you guys have the ability to then write a business, we can write a business process whereby you guys can then start manipulating CSD from inside of CRM. I was on actually with one of uh, Central Data's existing customers doing some training for them and they're doing marketing training and they really found a ton of value in the ability to bring marketing 
and sales together using automation. And what we've done and almost out of the box is marketing, can build a marketing campaign. So you wanna build an email blast that I wanna to market to a thousand people for some new trade show that you guys are gonna to go to. And those emails start going out. So on day one, you get an email and it goes out to a thousand people. Three days later, another email goes out because of the marketing campaign. Well, we can say, if that person who receives the email clicks the link in the email or opens it three times or whatever, if they take action, I can then create a task for sales. So marketing can do their job and say, go call these six people, or excuse me, I'm sorry, go send this email blast to these thousand people. And then the byproduct of that will be six people click the link, we're gonna auto create tasks for the salespeople, right? So some of the process automation is gonna bring sales and marketing together. So the salespeople will just automatically get tasks created for them because marketing is doing their job. And I am 20 minutes into a presentation and I haven't used the two letter acronym AI, which is surprising in today's day and age, AI is everywhere. Um, so <laughs> half serious, half joking. Of course, part of the process automation, the machine learning engine, uh, is a big piece of our uh, process automation so we can do some learning, right? If opportunities look like this, smell like this, sound like this, leads have these demographics, then write process automation. So there is a full machine learning AI engine inside of Creatio where we could then use these insights to drive different things So the last slide I have before I move into software is, is talking about best practices, right? Like if you folks are going to start thinking of implementing a CRM or process automation for that matter in general, you know, if I was to get on a very first call with you, these are some of the things that I strongly recommend is, you know, what are the current pains, right? If you're using CRM, one of them are probably gonna be back here. Man, it takes my guys forever and they're complaining because I have to create a million tasks or I'm working in Outlook and Excel and I have no visibility into that data or it takes me forever to write these personalized emails, right? So you're gonna get people that are gonna start complaining and I would encourage you to document those and see where is it possible for us to fix those problems and then document which ones are gonna give you the most value, right? I'm living in CRM every day, I'm creating a million tasks, and it takes me forever to create those tasks manually. Well, we probably can solve the biggest headaches by automating those tasks. Or we have someone that is a full-time employee and all they do is manually convert quote to orders. I don't know, it's a silly example perhaps. Well, let's automate that, all right? So I would encourage you to start thinking about what are our biggest problems how can we find the biggest value and then document the snot out of it in flows, right? What, you know, so you can recreate those and repopulate those processes possibly across different divisions and different sections inside of Creatio. Okay, so I'm gonna jump over to some actual software because I've been chatting at you for 20 minutes and I kind of want to show you how this works and lives in the software itself. So I kicked this off by you know, being transparent. I'm not doing a full CRM demo here, but what I am doing is I'm gonna talk to you about where this automation lives in CRM and how we're able to start you know, automating and using some of this automation. So I thought it might make sense to talk about opportunities because the lead to opportunity conversion makes a lot of sense. If I'm working in an opportunity, I'll click into a random one here, Let's talk about automating some workflow. So in a more formal demo, which I'm gonna to get to later, I encourage you all to please reach out to Shane and I, I'll do a full demo, I promise. Um, but we have some pre-built automation in the flow. So this Chevron, as you see across the top, is your happy path, so to speak, for this opportunity. So if I'm working this opportunity, of course, I can create myself tasks manually. Don't forget to call feature IT next week, Wednesday, right? So I need to call Tony. So I can create myself a task, 
right? So this is the manual way. Don't forget to call him next week, Wednesday. It's assigned to me and off I go. Manually, I can create myself a task. But through this Chevron, as I click through this happy path, I have the ability to automate. So I've got a couple tabs open. I've kind of preloaded these so you guys can see the backend designer of qualification, presentation, proposal, contracting. So I have this same flow here of this op. I can automate things such that when the opportunity is created and it moves into qualification, I want to automatically create a kickoff call task for me, right? So if I click on this, this little bar is going to change and I can now create a task for me. I can make it tomorrow. I can make it mandatory or optional. And then I can create a new task very easily, right? So perform task and we'll say schedule kickoff call and research customer. I don't know, something silly. Now, when I move this opportunity into qualification stage, I would have a task created for me to schedule a kickoff call and another task for me to research this customer. So I'm not doing anything as a user other than moving it through the process. And now I'll have two tasks for me automatically created when this opportunity is created. If I move this into presentation, nothing's gonna happen. So I can move it into presentation. So now it's in presentation stage for reporting, but nothing happens. If I move it into proposal, I want a task for me to build the proposal. So if I click this into proposal and hit save, there's gonna be a task created for me automatically to build the proposal, right? So as you work through this, this is part of that process automation is I can just by having the users move through this and then I can do different things. Tasks are very easy. I can do approvals. Right, so this little checkbox. Maybe I can't move the proposal into contracting until my boss approves it. Right, so I want to go and say my boss needs to approve this quote or this opportunity before it gets. So I want to say my manager is going to approve this before I can move the stages. And then when I move it to close one, I want to send a welcome aboard email. Right. So I want to say, okay, I closed one. I want to send the email from so-and-so to so-and-so, and here's the template, and I want to either send it automatically or manually. So inside a CRM, you're just working, right? Users are just doing their job. But through the process, I can have it create the email and then send a task for my accounting to invoice them, right? So this is part of that, that process designer. I have the ability to do some simple workflow. And I thought this would show well just on an opportunity as you click through here, tasks will be created. I can go to my task list and I can see this task. I can complete this here. So we're removing that need to manually create tasks. So we would consider this simple process automation. This is an if then, if this stage moves to proposal, then create a task. Yeah, pretty straightforward for a few minutes to geek out into the back end to show some of the more advanced process automation that we have, right? So we talked about some of the more advanced ones here like pushing and pulling data over to CSD or SX. We have in our studio workplace, this is the deep end guts, the process builder. We have the ability to build business processes and these are more complex if then statements. I thought it might make sense to show the creating an opportunity from a lead, right? This is where we can put in sending emails, pulling data, we can do web service calls, all kinds of stuff as part of these business processes. So here is a medium complex business process. That is the creating an opportunity from a lead. So on a lead, I just move the stage to a certain stage. So there's a trigger here. And when a lead record is modified and the lead stage moves to awaiting sale. So that's the trigger. So this business process lives forever and it's listening for any time a lead gets modified and the modified 
stage, so it doesn't care if it modifies the date or whatever, but if we modify the stage and the stage changes to awaiting sale, fire this process. And then there's a bunch in here where it's gonna go create the account, create the contact, create the opportunity, check if the lead has products on it, bring those products into the opportunity. So there is the ability for you to write these you know, kind of simple or complex business processes behind the scenes. So I don't mean to intimidate on a recording here, but I thought it was important to show both sides. We can do some simple process automation here, and then we can do some more complex here to remove the redundancy, move data from one field, run calculated fields, you know, do all kinds of, of fun stuff here. So the offer we have, we're at the 30 minute mark. I wanted to try to keep this to 30 minutes is if anybody is interested, I implore you, please like reach out to Shane and I, I would love to give you a free 30 day trial. We will spin you up your own personalized version of Creatio. So you'll have your own version here where you know, you'll be able to log in and we will even bring in your data. So we will do a migration for free where if you're interested in taking a peek at this, now trials do have limitations for the recording. I think we can only bring in a thousand records, so I can't do a full CSD data export, you know, but we could grab a sub-segment, bring in your accounts, your contacts, your orders, and then you can play with it for 30 days, and we'll give you four one-hour workshops throughout that month where we'll hold your hand, answer your questions. Um, so it's basically a free proof of concept if you're interested please, please, please take me up on it. We will do a, a month trial with your data so you can really kick the tires on this. We can concentrate on process automation. We can concentrate on mobile, you know, whatever you guys would have interest in um, to kind of prove this out so you're not playing with phony data, but you're playing with your real accounts and contacts. Okay, Shane, I'm going to pass back to you. That was kind of my 30 minutes.